Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here with a very unique video effect. This is the TV simulation. And this one is pretty tough to, to use. So, uh, hopefully we're going to review it. Hope you guys will understand it. So, I'm going to select a clip here. This is just the American flag waving. This will be perfect to show how this video effect works. So, if we click and drag this TV simulation clip down here, right away you'll notice that it adds these blurry changing screens, old TV setup look to it very cool you can do some cool stuff with this so we're gonna go through each of these um, each of these instructions here so the first one that it shows is the interline so we'll click and drag over here and the interline if you increase it and decrease it you'll notice that in the video clip all these different lines will show up so pretty much it makes it your video more distorted when you increase it all the way and if you have it at zero it's not going to be as distorted it's going to be a little bit more wavy to the default so we are going to have a little bit interline in our example so let's go to about 10 right there you can see the little lines in between are just going to be shaking little wave like patterns to it and then we're going to be focusing on the amplitude and the amplitude offset so what the amplitude does is when you increase it um, it's going to shift your video so if you have it at zero right now with your amplitude all it's going to do is shift it to the right and it's going to add these fade ins these fade ins from these different corners over here and it'll just shift your video and the fade ins and these little pointy things are going to be increasing as you increase it all the way to 50 so we're going to do about at 10 once again now what the amplitude offset does all it does is it shifts your video horizontally so if you increase it to your right your video is going to shift right increase it to the left your video is going to shift left so we'll put this at about the center put it at about 10 I guess we're doing the 10s today so that's what it looks like so far with the interline, the amplitude, and the amplitude offset. Now the vertical speed is obviously what it says. Now you can increase it to 100, you can have it to a negative 100. And of course if you have it at negative numbers, it's going to go in the opposite direction, which is down at the little fast to show. So negative direction, it'll go down. And of course the positive direction, it will go up. So you can have it really fast, which is a bit insane, but you can use that and you can have it really slow like at six and go nice and slow so we'll keep it at about 19 20 to make it perfect so that's what it looks like so far and of course your vertical offset is just like your amplitude offset all it does is it shifts your video horizontally and vertically so again not that important in this situation and then the interframe size is something that um, i usually don't use too much i usually just set it at zero but the interframe size is just that big black line in between each video. See if I can show this. Center that black line. So we increase it. The bigger the black line, I usually just set it at zero. So you can't even see the black line. So it's just shaking that one image. But of course, we can show for the examples. So we can have 10 there. And you can barely see that. Let's increase it to about 35. There we go. So that looks pretty good. So that is the. Uh, TV simulation video effect again. It's a difficult one to use, you, but of course you can use this in a unique way. And so one of the examples I like to do is set the interline at zero, the amplitude at zero, amplitude offset also at zero, vertical speed at zero. And you can see I did this wrong, of course. You can set all of that at zero, and we can have just the interline going. And your video is going to shake like that. And have that there. You can have your amplitude at a little bit. You can have your video shake like that. Or you can just use it to offset your video to have it half and half like that, which is pretty cool. And you can also do it on the horizontal axis as well, I think. No, I guess you can't. You do have to have an amplitude of at least one, I think. And then you can shift it, so there we go. So again, pretty cool things you can do with this. So let's go ahead and set these things back up so we can look at our fade in, fade out. Whoops. Set that back to 15. 15. I'm just going to set these all at 15, not 150. 15. And of course, the last one, 15. So fade in, fade out. Very cool how the fade in, fade out does. What it does is it slowly increases its speed and slowly increases its inner line and amplitude and everything. And it looks pretty cool when you do a fade in, fade out. So let's take a look at that. Here's your original video. It's going to fade in slowly, and there you go. So very cool how it does that. 
you notice that the amplitude offsets and the vertical offsets are also going to fade in slowly to its correct position and it looks very cool how you do that and I like how it rewinds for the fade out it just kind of shifts back over very cool how it does that so it's a very unique effect and somewhat difficult effect to use so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys have learned something from this uh, fairly difficult video effect if you guys have enjoyed go ahead and subscribe because I got plenty more video effects to cover and I'll see you guys next time